It may not be your time when you're younger. Maybe there's just people at your position. Uh, maybe you still have a little bit to add to your game, whatever it is. And, uh, you know, being patient in that process, in, in, in Kalia's case, um, you know, that, that has, uh, you know, paid dividends for her. So next question to your left in the second row. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, good to see you. Um, there are reports that there's um, a new media rights deal that will be official with the league um, probably in the coming days. Just someone who's been in the league for so long, I want to get your reaction of that, and also how um, you know that money could help fund an economic model that can really set the league up for success long term. Yeah, it's really exciting. Uh, it's not surprising. Um, I think it was important that you know we, we valued ourselves in this negotiation. It's certainly helpful uh, to have this rookie class, you know, led by Caitlin, uh, who, you know, is sort of driving, um, you know, the, the media, the, the interest, um, the business. And, and so I think making sure that, I said this in the beginning of the season, what can the WNBA do? We can take advantage and, and not sell ourselves short. And, and also have a vision for the future, where this league is headed, like all pro sports leagues. Um, that we've seen, you know, NBA, Major League Baseball, NFL, there is an evolution to a sports league. And we're in our evolution. This is our moment to take that next step. Um, we are going to, you know, it's, I think, you know, 10 or 11 years, whatever it was. I, I hope that there is, you know, what I would label as a kicker in there for when we reach certain thresholds uh, that maybe didn't exist in the last deal that we had. Um, because you, there's going to be growth. Because when you get more eyes on it, right, it's going to continue to grow. Valuations of franchises, uh, interests, etc. It's all natural. The same thing that you saw with the NBA is going to happen with the WNBA, and uh, so I think it's. Uh, I applaud if it's true, uh, whatever elements are true, and I applaud obviously leadership and uh, getting this done because uh, the initial numbers that I heard I didn't think did it, did it justice, uh, did our league justice. But if we can land in this space and, and even more. Uh, then, then I think we probably, um, yeah, that, was, that was probably a well done uh, process. And how can that trickle down and impact players? Well, I mean, I think the obvious, um, you know, I should probably avoid, you know, I think Becky sat here in Vegas, uh, got set up in a press conference and got fined a lot of money. Uh, I'm going to avoid talking about collectively bargained issues. Right, next question, show to your right in the third row. Hi, I'm a Bachelorette Sports Illustrated. Uh, looking back to that game against Belgium in February, uh, considering that Team USA doesn't find itself in a lot of low slate situations like that, I'm curious if you think there's anything that this team is going to be able to take from that, uh, just experiencing that in a new environment internationally. There's no question about it. I, I know it's what we anticipated as coaches, um, and I also thought it's what we needed. We need adversity. I think to be able to reach your greatest heights, you have to experience adversity. And so a game like that, in an environment like that, um, I think that will, will prove to be a valuable, valuable experience for us as we as we continue to move forward towards uh, being in Paris and, and competing for a gold medal. Joe, next question to your left and third row. Coach, when you're talking about obviously getting to Paris with the team, the talent that you said, some players younger, maybe not ready to hear Kalia Copper, obviously in her career, but. The, the challenges in the fun coaching a team, because I know you can obviously, as you know, you can't force chemistry, but just kind of getting them to, to work together and obviously working for a gold medal, what's the challenge in that? Well, it can be a challenge if you, um, you know, if you um, sort of let it. Uh, I think that um, it is a narrative. It is, it is true in terms of time, but I also think what you do when you're tied together and working towards that chemistry, we, we talk about that every time we get together what we think is necessary and that's you know more um proprietary information um so but but we we understand it uh but we're not going to let that be uh, a reason why we're not successful cheryl on the right side fourth row hi, hi cheryl. how are you um when you're looking at group play in this it, it's a tough group that you got drawn into what what are the challenges you're kind of looking forward to and preparing your team for uh, I, I love the difference in stylistic um, scenarios that we'll see in terms of schemes, and uh, we will be challenged. Again, I, I thought the pool, I thought it was great. Um, I think it's what we need uh, as we have a shorter runway uh, into metal rounds with just three games. I think giving ourselves, you know, the, the, uh, the game tomorrow, um, you know, the competition in that, you know, the game over in London, I think it's all really, really good for us, and, and I'm hopeful uh, that we're going to have to go through ups and downs and, and, and learn quickly how to navigate them. 
right, well, one more question from the room, and if we have time, one on Zoom. Cheryl, third row center. Hi, Cheryl. Um, Matt Ishby has said, uh, you know, he's put a lot of effort into making this the best all stream weekend weekend ever. Um, so what have you seen uh, from you know the city of Phoenix and the work from him? Um, like, what type of accommodations have you seen for players, and what like the investment, the events? Yeah, and I, I haven't gotten to see the broader. Um, I, I've heard. Um, I can tell you what I've seen, what have I experienced. And um, first, I think it's it's absolutely tremendous as someone that's been in the league since 2001, um, where ownership was then, um, and where ownership is now, and where we're heading. It is very exciting, and and Matt is is one of those owners who is really really committed. It's going to drive our league forward in ways that. Uh, are it's absolutely deserving and and so I think what we're seeing here is that I think everything that he's doing um, you know that we heard about you know in the name of the hiring process when they're free agency etc cetera, etc cetera, the facility um, but I think what I've seen Phoenix is a great city they, they love the WNBA um, I absolutely love that we have Cheryl Miller in this because I actually was at you know Cheryl Miller coached Phoenix game you know many many years ago and uh, they have long been a fan base in a city that has embraced the WNBA. And so I think Matt really elevating that to a level where you know, all the people involved in this, as soon as we get into the airport, uh, you know, it could be a signage and things like very thoughtful, intentional things uh, that the city knows. Not just, of course, we know, uh, but the city knows. And so putting it on a, you know, a bigger stage, the coverage, et cetera, the show that I know we're going to put on tomorrow, uh, that speaks for itself, but all the other stuff. Think about when you go to an NBA All-Star Weekend, what does it look like and feel like? This All-Star Game resembles that uh, probably more than any other. That's okay. Our last question, Cheryl, fourth row to your right. Cheryl, I was wondering about uh, piggybacking off the question of the growth of the league. Uh, the MLB has done this. NBA as well as NFL scheduling games, the exhibitions overseas at mm -hmm. a regular season. Uh, do you think that being that the women's basketball has always had a market in Europe uh, before the league existed, that they could eventually get to the point of marketing the game by scheduling those types of games overseas over time? I know this is more of a question for Kathy Engelbert, but but I, I can speak unequivocally. Yes, yes, globalizing the game is a priority uh, for our commissioner. Uh, so I have no doubt that you will see that um, very soon. No doubt, and um, you know, obviously we've done it in Canada, but. Um, and that's that's different, but we will absolutely be playing a game in Europe for sure.